How's it going, YouTube? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just thought it's totally raining out today. I have a day off, and I was... Uh, I don't think I'm going to get any golf in. So I thought, hey, I'll do my season wrap-up video. Because I think my season is sort of over, I guess. I mean, I'll get a couple games in. As always, I might squeak in one or two more events. One event, um, I'll get in. I'll sort of cover that later. But so how'd the season go? Well, um, I think I treaded water, like on my scores. I think I got a bit, you know, quote unquote worse. But I actually probably, you know, improved, to be honest. Um, so let's go back to what my goals were for this season. Um, play as many tournaments as I possibly could. Check. Uh, yeah, I played in three events, um, <clears throat> and that was good. A qualifier, a four-dayer with a two-day cut, which I didn't get, but I didn't get through, but more on that later. And then a two-dayer with no cut, um, in which I finished T39 in the Ontario, uh, Ontario Publix. Um, my second goal was to not think about my score. Uh, un semi check, uncheck. I still am thinking about score, and uh, it screwed me up a little bit. Um, I started the season off well in my first event, not thinking about it, but then I think I put a lot of pressure on myself. I really wanted to do well in these events, and uh, <clears throat> that's not to say I didn't do well because I learned a lot. But you know, I think I was I had bad first days on both of them, like catastrophic first days. They the courses were definitely not set up well for me let's put it that way other people did okay though in my age bracket but you know as a quote-unquote senior golfer they were they were slogs um but you know other people played well and so um so i think i was trying to like <clears throat> think about the score and when the score went out the window not that i gave up but <clears throat> i certainly wasn't as focused and then the second day i came around and i improved massively on both events so it's uh, I think I was just putting pressure on myself to play well from the from the get-go and you know and then, then even on the second days I was thinking about my score because I wanted to be I was playing well and I wanted to really improve and I had a, if I kept on playing the way I did I could have made the cut which would have been sort of astounding considering my starting position uh, on the second day on that first you know, four day tournament sort of from jumping around a lot. But yeah, so I didn't real I didn't really attain my second goal of which I was thinking about my score. So, you know, jump on the horse next year. I'm getting better at it though, that's for sure. I'm just having a little bit of trouble closing. Um so that's good. I mean um <clears throat> Yeah, my bag is I'm super happy with my bag. I'm working a day I got a day job again up here so uh, a little different situation than what last six years I was working from home remotely and sort of part-time and <clears throat> making more money <laughs> so here I'm working uh, part full-time well not full-time I got a lot of hours so now the seasons it's at a golf store so it was seasonal um, so you know I'll have more time to practice and uh, so today if the weather switches I might I might go and try this indoor range session i still i don't have a car so i'm still trekking up there but it's, uh, by transit but it's fairly close to me so maybe i'll be putting some footage of me sort of slog slogging up there um but it seems like a great option so i'll finally have a place to practice so a little decompressed why was my season well so my season was okay i think i just treaded water my scoring average was up a little bit but uh the courses were super long like seven thousand yards um one was a quote-unquote Lynx course, but it was soaking, and it, it was 6,800 yards, but it ended up playing like 69, let's say. And I've got a cat in the, uh, I got a co-star. How's it going? How are you? Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I still should, like, my, my uh, hybrid was not, was sort of failed me at the, Canadian mid-am um, and I really needed that club so I did adjust to I had another one built up and I should have just taken that one in the first place so um, you know the bag is good uh, and the putter I putted great like the second on my second rounds like I was not adjusting to the different speeds that were being presented to me in the first round so 
they were actually slower than I expected. The greens got slower, and in the MGA events, I got really used to playing on really, really fast greens. I know people say, oh, really, really fast greens. But in the MGA area, and I'm sure with other qualifiers in the States, um, the greens are fast. And here they're fast, but it's more they trick out the pins. They really they really trick out the courses. And I don't know if that's, you know, it is what it is. I've got to learn how to play it. Whereas the courses, I think, that I was playing are just generally harder. And the greens were faster. Uh, but that played well into my game. So, anyways, uh, I think I play good on, like, you know, hard courses, not tricky courses, if I'm going to make excuses for myself but i gotta learn how to play them so um so yeah i the plan is uh if i don't you know i'd love to play in two more events to just some money um i was going to go down to play the long island senior open but uh you know i'm just gonna wait for like uh i don't know if i have the energy to figure out um how to get a rapid test and <laughs> all that stuff so i'll just wait till the spring it'll be all settled down um but yeah i mean so i know what to work on like my i'm actually hitting the ball well <clears throat> um despite my sc tournament scores going up so i just feel like if i can just get more reps in i'll be fine you know so um it's been good to play up here the players are great and everybody's really nice and there were well-run events um just like anywhere else so uh, I think I was putting a bit of pressure on myself because I was like back, quote unquote, home playing. I hadn't played, you know, these events since I was in, uh, since a teenager, you know, these organs. So I felt the pressure, you know, so, uh, but I got that out of my system. So I have two more years before I turn, quote unquote, senior, and then I can play senior events and uh, also mid am events, you know, um, and I guess amateur, the public links, I was playing against college kids. So uh, that was good, seeing some college kids on the range. I hadn't seen that in a while. Um, yeah, so I, I'm always threatening to do a what's in the bag. So, you know, I will do one. Um, I, you know, if, if I've put footage in here, me practicing, it'll like I say, it'll just be great for me to practice again. Uh, I haven't done any practicing where I play. My They don't have a range, so I do I hit a couple balls foam balls in the backyard here and there um so it'll be good to just sort of you know be in, it's an indoor place with a you know stats and everything so that'll be great and then there's like a i put some footage of the other place i was playing it's expensive though so um you know maybe once in a while i'll go up there to see some you know 100 ball flights for 100 yards uh their balls aren't that good though so it's hard to get a sense of like I don't know, like, am, is that me or the crappy ball? I don't know. I know I make. It sounds like I'm making tons of excuses on these videos, but uh, other people do it just fine. So, um, but what I feel I do is trying to do is optimize like everything because I'm, you know, I'm starting back in so quote unquote late. So I'm like, if I'm if I'm gonna make the effort to go do something, like I sort of want it to be like maximized, you know. Um, so yeah i think my scoring average like if i did my um sort of you know differential or handicap last year was five this year was like seven let's say but um i just feel like it's my goal is to be like if i could be pulling off five strokes a tournament round i'd be right in the thick of things you know i wouldn't be wouldn't be winning anything but i'd be like i'd be competing i'd be getting instead of top 39 i'd be getting top 20s or 25s which would be awesome you know it's still good i'm still having a blast like i'm gonna keep doing this so um so there you go uh i know there was some questions about my equipment um I might as well just go through it now i'm using the sim the tailor-made sim from last year driver in the tour 80 gp7s I'm using Tour Edge Exotics uh, the 119 CBXs in a 13.5 three wood and then a 17 and a 19 hybrid. I have Ventus, just stock Ventus shafts in each of those. That's something I'm money, you know, dependent. And I'm actually going to be able to test out the real Ventus soon, just where I'm working. So, you know, I might at some point put the real ones in there because I do find, a, you know, they're a little squirrely the other ones and so um and then i have the p790 four iron 
with an S300 shaft in it, which I thought was too heavy, but I ended up really liking it. Um, <clears throat> and then the Strixon ZX7 in the 5 and 6 iron, uh, and then the Strixon Z945 blades from the 7 through to the 51, like the matched gap wedge. I was struggling with finding a gap wedge, and I finally just bit the bullet and you know pulled the trigger on and one on eBay so it's like the 745 but it ends up looking like the the um, the uh, you know the blade anyways then I have the high toe 58 in the four-way grind and sorry the irons are DG 120s I love those shafts uh, and then yeah like I think a KBS whatever they're stock KBS wedge flex in the TaylorMade. Uh, that's up in the air. That's still sort of in rotation. I might go to a Cleveland. I'm not quite sure yet. I really like the bounces though on those uh, TaylorMades. And then the Bettinardi, the BB2, or the, BB, the one with the flow neck. It's a blackhead. I'll probably show a picture of it, if not here at some point. I'll definitely show my clubs. Uh, so someone was asking, thanks for the Thanks for the question. And that, that there you go. This is my bag. Uh, Bridgestone. Um, I can't remember which one. The the red ball. The under five. The tour spin, but for under 105 swing speeds, and I love it. It's great. A um, couple bags. You know the the pings. Um, so yeah. Um, there we go. I think it was. You know. I think this in last season ended up being like one season if that makes sense uh so i think if, i feel good about next year i feel good about everything i'm having a blast even though my results aren't like quote unquote great like you know i'm definitely improving it's just bringing that to the table in a tournament and so it's like okay not thinking about a tournament so um yeah i think i'll have a better run next year you know i'll most likely have a car and i'll be able to run down to you know maybe the detroit area and do some of the qualifiers down there i'd hope to do that this year but uh you know the border situation didn't allow that and um yeah i just sort of feel like i got you know whether i'm here or i go back to brooklyn in a couple of years you know i've got um you know a good two area like if i run do the ringer next year of going through some tournaments and the qualifiers and you know whether i'm successful or not at least i can get ready for senior golf up here and then I can put there's a porter cup up this way that I can try to get into when I turn 55 um and then you know start doing some senior mid and I don't know if I should do the senior open qualifier in Detroit I just wouldn't know the course um not to say I wouldn't know it in the New York City area but I I'd have I could probably get myself on it for a practice round um so there you go, a bit of a rambler, I know, a long video as always, um, but yeah, I'm going to go up and uh, brave the rain and try this this indoor place, and maybe I'll do um, you know some footage from me over this winter there, so I'll just you know keep plugging away, and then uh, my course is going to close, um, the, we had the 125th anniversary, which is pretty cool. Um, and then uh, they're going to do some renos, so it'll be like a nine hole for half of the year next year. But I'll still have a place to play, which is awesome. I have a little chipping and putting area out there, which is amazing, which has been so helpful. And, um, yeah, we'll do, I'll do, like, you know, I'll probably do more updates through the winter because I didn't do very many updates this year because I was, you know, working and then, like, you know, playing golf. Um, so, you know, this sort of forgive these ramp, this channel's turned into sort of rambling, talking videos, which is probably not that fun to watch, but if you're interested in, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing, that's sort of it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, as always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, you know, maybe it'll be more focused videos in, in, the, in the off season of, you know, me, my, you know, back to my routines and now finally being able to practice have a practice session area which is great so uh those are all good developments this was a fun season it was it was a hard season because you know i sort of like i sort of got beat up a bit but it, it was it was good it was great i i had fun i mean it, i'm glad i there was times the second days i was like i didn't want to play these courses like <laughs> they 
just weren't for me. But I went and did, and I got like I I got you know payback on both of them. I I played great. I beat a lot of people the second days. I moved up the leaderboards, even though I didn't make the cut the one day. Um, so that felt good. So now I just got to do two rounds. And it's like do two nines. I got two nines that you know are getting tracking, but like getting one two nines together now two rounds together which will be the big next big challenge so uh baby steps um so as always if you want to know anything or you know ask me a question or shoot me a dm on my instagram um and uh yeah hope your season went great as always i always love to make sure uh every anybody following in has a great season if you have any you know successes or failures <laughs> or you uh humbling moments feel free to drop them in the comments and uh Thanks so much for checking in. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. And maybe I'll, like I say, start to just do some practice sessions. I'll see if I can even, you know, how big the place is, uh, how much room I have, if I can get, even get a camera in there. All right. Uh, thanks as always for checking in. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.